In this tutorial, we'll explore scientific notation. What it is, why it exists, and how to use it. Now, scientific notation is really just a shorthand way of writing numbers. Just like texting on your phone, if you know the shorthand, you can communicate more efficiently. If you don't know the shorthand, well then you're kind of stuck writing things out in full and not really understanding what other people are trying to say. Hmm, what's a jig lol? In science, a shorthand way of writing numbers is really useful, particularly when we run into really small or really big numbers. We want to save time, and so here's how we do it. An example. In physics, you may be working on the gravitational force on a satellite that's orbiting the Earth. The equation to figure this out would be F, the force, is equal to G, a constant, the mass of the satellite times the mass of the Earth all over the radius of the orbit squared. Now the G is a constant, a really small number. The mass of the satellite could be a thousand kilograms. The mass of the Earth, well, the mass of the Earth is quite huge, as seen here. And the radius of orbit, well, that's the radius of the Earth plus the height of the satellite, so it's quite a large number here as well. So not only do you have to try and read or write these numbers, but you have to try and put them in a calculator accurately, counting all the zeros. What a pain. Scientists working on problems like this started to realize that counting and keeping track of all the zeros was becoming the most difficult part of problems like this. There had to be a better way of making it a little faster. Much like the early days of texting, when people figured out that writing things out all in full was an unnecessary task if some common shorthand could be agreed upon. Likewise, the scientists created the shorthand way of writing these numbers, and it's called scientific notation. If we used scientific notation for this problem, the numbers would look like this. Much better. Much easier to work with. The shorthand, that is scientific notation, makes it easier and creates less chance of error. The same problem existed in chemistry, biology, and earth science as you deal with, say, the mass of electrons, or the number of cells in people, or the age of a fossil. Here are some of the same numbers in scientific notation. Much easier to work with. Now that you have the basic idea of why we have scientific notation, well, let's clarify the rules and methods so that you're communicating accurately. So let's go back here and I'll show you how I converted the mass of the Earth into scientific notation. So here it is, the mass of the Earth, a whole lot of zeros, and now all scientific notation is in this format. A number between 1 and 10 out front here, then the times 10 which is always here, and then the exponent goes up here. For our mass of the Earth, we move the decimal over until we get our number between 1 and 10, counting as we go. So pulling the decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and just keep moving until we get it up to this point here, which was 24 moves. So to write this now in scientific notation, our number between 1 and 10 out front will be 5.972. And we counted 24 moves of the decimal to get here, so our exponent will be 24. And that's it. This is the mass of the Earth in scientific notation. Much nicer to work with. Let's do another example. This time looking at a really small number. The mass of an electron. Here it is. All the zeros are out front of our main number here. The same format, a number out front here between 1 and 10, then the times 10, and then the exponents here. Again, getting to that number between 1 and 10 will move the decimal place. And we'll see that it's going to be 9.109. .9. 
And so let's move that decimal place until we get the 9.109. This time we're moving the decimal to the right. So we know that our exponent will be a negative. So here's our moves, one, two, three, four, and we keep moving and if we count all our moves, we have 31 moves to the right. And so in scientific notation, the mass of an electron is much easier to manage as 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31. In this tutorial, we explored scientific notation, what it is, why it exists, and how to use it. We found out that scientific notation is really just a shorthand way that saves scientists a lot of time when dealing especially with big and small numbers.